Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to my Minecraft server page. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? We are going to be logging in to Hermitcraft in the next couple seconds, but Tango Tech has just sent me a message saying that he has constructed something in my base area and I cannot remember where I last logged out of the server, so I could log in looking straight at this thing and I don't want to ruin my initial reaction here, so hopefully we can log in and then if we're looking straight at it, I can react straight away. If we're not looking straight at it, then of course we can go find this thing and once again, react straight away. So yes, we are going to be logging in, but before we do, I just also want to mention that hopefully by the time this video releases, this little fella will be up and running. If it's not, I'll be very, very upset indeed. But I know that a few of the patrons have been having a few issues regarding the email addresses and things. I know that anyone with a Microsoft email address, for example, Hotmail, Outlook and Live, you have been having some serious problems because the Microsoft spam filter is really quite strong. So you guys haven't been receiving my emails regarding details about the server. So if you have checked your email inbox and an email from my email address is not there, then hop down to the description, read through all of the messages that I've put down there and hopefully we should be able to resolve that problem and you'll be able to log into this thing today, at least in theory. I really do hope that is the case. But anyway, moving on from Patreon and all that sort of thing, let's double click on Ermitcraft and move on through into the server. So here we are, right, we are in the storage area and straight away, straight away, there is something right here. What on earth, you, what on earth is this? Mumbo, we heard you had a mouse catastrophe. We have the perfect solution, Tango and Impulse. I have a feeling I know exactly that, I mean, perfect, <laughs> suggests something. What I am going to do is I'm going to clear out my inventory just in case this thing somehow kills me because, you know, remember the Exuma prank? That thing killed me, okay? I'm, I can't be too safe. So let's take out all my items here. All of these go. And I know exactly what's going to happen, okay? I know exactly what's going to happen here. But it's just in case, really, just in case they've decided to do something slightly different. Hit the button. And where are they all then? Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of cats! That's a huge quantity of cats! Oh my word! Look how many cats that is! I was not expecting that many cats, I was expecting like one or two! That's unbelievable! How on earth have they managed to get that many cats? What we need to do is we need to get a name tag and we need to call one of these guys Benji. In fact, Benji is literally sat just over. He's sat pretty much next to me right now. Benji, you've got some friends. Lots of them. How many cats are there? That is unbelievable. I struggle to get like one cat in Minecraft and these guys have just turned up and they have probably got, well, I'd say that's at least 20, maybe 30 cats there. And they all look exactly the same, which is quite impressive. Is there like a cat dupe glitch going on? That is awesome. Well, nice work, Tango Tech, and I believe Impulse SV was also involved with this because that is absolutely perfect, I guess you could say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can quite plainly see, I am pretty impressed by this prank here. I mean, it's not the most grand thing in the world, for example, it's not like Mumbo Fall or the giant Olaf, but that is still, that is still so very funny. When those cats exploded out, Oh my word. I thought, see, I thought it was a block falling down. It was like a solid block of cat. And then they just all just poured out all over my storage area. And it looked absolutely awesome. But now I feel like I'm fairly safe from any anything that's going to kill me. So I'm just going to chuck all my items back into my inventory. And there's a few things that I'm sort of wondering about these cats here. Because I'm sort of... I, well, I want to keep them, basically. I want to keep the cats. The cats are pretty cool. They're something that I want to keep inside my base area. And can you push these guys? Right, okay, you can push them. Oh my word, I think I've just had an awesome idea. I have just had such a cool idea. For anyone that's new to my videos, and for anyone who missed who missed Thursday's world tour as well, so that's quite a uh, that's quite a pairing of things. But if you did miss my world tour and you are new to my videos, I basically have a little area that I blew out using TNT. It was a couple weeks ago now. I think I only did it recently. I blew out a large area in the mountain and I created like a mini indoors biosphere type thing. And I have been puzzling over the past couple days what I actually want to do with that place because that was like an impulse idea. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna create this area and then I'll see how it goes. And it's ended up looking really, very cool. We're heading over to it now. 
And I've sort of been thinking, you know, what do I do with this place? Because I can't put farms over there because it's just a, a pain to get over here. I can't really do anything in terms of storage because I'd have to go all the way out over here, then all the way back over to my base to put the items over there. One thing that I think I could do is I could turn this into like a cat sanctuary where all the cats can just chill out in my biosphere. I think that would be so very cool. That would be awesome. Yeah, that sounds like a really, really good idea. I'm going to do that. We're going to put all the cats in this area. I don't know how I'm going to transport them. If we can transport them using minecarts, then it's a done deal because that'll be so much fun. So ladies and gentlemen, I have just made my way back through into Hermit Hills because I've just received another message, this time from TFC, Tim Foil Chef, to say he has also built something, but this time in Hermit Hills. Now, that means that we've got a number of different options. It could be... It could be the balloon, it could be the pumpkin and melon farms, it could be any of the other community projects I've worked on in Hermit Hills. So I'm thinking it will be the balloon because, you know, that's that's obviously something that I've worked on personally. So let's just walk around here. D did I just hear a creeper? Am I going crazy? I swear I just heard a creeper. Right. Um. Oh, it doesn't look like it's the balloon. The balloon has not been pranked. So what else could it be? I mean, we've got the, the pumpkin and melon farms. They're not done. The consultancy, it could have been that, but it's not that by the look of things. There's a creeper in there. Oh! <laughs> it's Shrek! Shrek's got a new style. Oh my word, look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh, I love it. Shrek's got a tash. A gigantic moustache on Shrek there. That looks amazing. <laughs> That's such a good moustache as well. That's excellent. Oh, wow. Okay, that is the second awesome prank of today's video. I can't believe that. That is a prank on a prank in a double prank video. That is prank squared action. That is crazy. <laughs> that is so funny. Well, excellent work, Tim Four Chef. And as always... Both of the prank videos can be found in the description. I believe Tango and Impulse actually worked on my cat prank in a live stream. So I'll put a link to that live stream down in the description. But also, obviously, the TFC video as well. That can go down there as well if you do want to see the construction process. Because that is absolutely hilarious. That really is very, very funny. Nice work, TFC. It's much appreciated. Now, obviously, TFC has got this gigantic eyeball in Hermit Hills. Okay, and that thing... Is just perfect for pranking, okay? Seriously, we could go to town on that. We could build a hat on it. We could build a gigantic monocle. Let me know down in the comments section what you think I should do because, as I say, I can go to town. That is such an easily prankable build. That really is the ultimate prankable build. So we can really get him good on that one. But also, of course, we have to get Tango and Impulse back as well. So once again, head down to the comments section. Let me know what I could do to those guys. Obviously, I could fill their bases with dogs, but that would be a little bit difficult. I could... I could pour a ton of iron golems into Tango Tech's base because obviously he's the iron man. But, you know, they're, they're not the best ideas in the world. So once again, let me know down in the comments section on those ones because you guys are so much more creative and so much more evil than I am. And you'll be able to come up with some really, really awesome suggestions, I'm sure. So please do. So sadly, I just tried doing everything with these cats. I tried attaching leads to them and that doesn't appear to work. I tried tempting them with fish, but of course they're sitting down and because they're not my cats, I can't actually get them to stand up. I can do that though. Oh, I suppose they've all taken damage, haven't they? So are these guys now my cats? Nope, I have no idea how cats work. If I keep feeding them though, what happens then? Nope, I'm just eating it. Fine. Okay, well it looks like, am I breeding cats? Is that what I'm doing here? If I nudge these two guys together, will I get a new cat? I have not played with cats in the slightest ever since they were introduced into Minecraft. So if a small little cat comes out, then that will be a great surprise to me. But yeah, sadly, I can't really do anything with these cats here. So I'll have to get either Tango or Impulse to help me out. And we can transport all of these guys over into the cat sanctuary. Because that will be a really, really fun thing to do. But anyway, what I've got to do now is I have got to... Put that diamond pickaxe away because there is very little of that left and pick up my good pickaxe and also my sword as well because we were running around unprotected. We need to take out this little thing here and just remove all this and fix up the storage area and then we can get back to it. 
So now all of that stuff has been removed, the storage area has returned to its original state with a few extra cats being added in. But these guys are going to be sticking around because I really quite like them. So yeah, that is all fixed up now. And I hate to say it, that is actually pretty much all I've got time for for today, which may sound a little bit strange, I know. But ever since returning back from my holiday, I have been stupidly, and I mean stupidly, busy. Like, seriously busy. My recording time has been basically zero. So that is why I did the world tour on the Thursday. I did the midweek world tour, which you guys absolutely loved, okay? You guys have seriously loved that. In fact, that has had a better response than any of my recent Hermitcraft episodes. And then, of course, today, I am just really, really thankful that these guys decided to prank me, okay? Because if they hadn't, I would have been really, really stuck for an episode. I probably wouldn't have been able to get one done, and you wouldn't have had a Sunday episode of Hermitcraft, which is, that's not good, is it? That's not particularly brilliant. So, big thanks to Tango Tech, Impulse SV, and Tinfoil Chef for doing a serious amount of pranking on me, because it's much appreciated. But anyway, now what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd show you a clip from one of my recent live streams, because this clip really really made me laugh and I still don't know why but a lot of you guys in the chat when I was live streaming found it quite funny as well so what I'll do is I'll chuck that clip in here and you can watch that because I really quite like it I'm sure there'll be one day where I'm like oh, oh my face looks awful and oh I'm really tired and I just don't want to be doing a vlog but I am yet to have that day 100% of the days have been completed so far so whoa what whoa, whoa what did that he just he just wrote the, the slime block he just rode the slime block. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. Oh, that has made my day, just seeing that guy pop up. Oh, that is brilliant. Right, okay. Oh, that was so funny. Cool, right, I'm so glad I managed to get that on the video. That is brilliant. I don't know where he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So I don't know why that made me laugh so much. I just think I just seeing that guy pop up was just it it tickled me. It tickled me. <laughs> yeah, it was a manly squeal. Ooh, a manly squeal. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I'm so glad. I'm I'm probably going to cut that out and I'm going to put that in a Hermitcraft episode at some point because that was brilliant. That was so funny. <laughs> Now, one thing that I just quickly want to mention is for anyone that's not familiar with my live streaming schedule, generally speaking, I live stream at Monday from 8pm GMT till 9.30pm GMT, and then recently, I have started live streaming from Friday at 4pm until 5.30pm. However, that can change on the Fridays. I might start doing it earlier, I might start doing it a tiny bit later, depending on the situation. But that is my new live streaming schedule, and you can find a link to my Twitch down in the description. And it would mean a lot to me if you would head over there and follow me so then you can really catch up on my live streams because they have been going extremely well recently. I know that in my previous live stream, I actually managed to get the number one Minecraft live stream, which is just insane. That is absolutely incredible. It was the most viewed Minecraft live stream of that night. And that's just huge. I was, I was so extremely happy. And just a big thanks to everyone that watched that live stream, to be honest with you, because it's always a lot of fun and it's always pretty cool. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.